Hey friends, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is rendering this plan in a super easy and quick way, very suitable for beginners. I'll be using a Photoshop action today to render the plan and this Photoshop action is actually really impressive as you can see by the images. This video is actually sponsored by the creators of this action. They were college students and they didn't have time to render their plans so they thought of a, a way to speed up the process and they created this action which is genius. If you don't know what a Photoshop action is, I want you to imagine all of the steps that you have to do if you wanted to render something, whether that's drop shadow, add in a color, um, effects. A Photoshop action will save all of those steps so that you would only have to click once and it will do it for you and you will get the same results. If you wanted to render a tree, for example, you can click once on the play button and it will magically make a tree for you. So these are just trees that I added from AutoCAD, they're simple, but with this action you also have 7 tree brushes so you can use them and straight away paint inside of your tree layer and you get this really nice effect. If you wanted a building group, you can. And it's so nice that it's also customizable so you can change it and edit it. So now we're going to put it to the test with rendering this plan and I'm first going to show you how to install the action and it doesn't really take that long. You first have to go into windows and action and then you're going to load the action which should be in the download folder. Everything with the installation and how to use the actual action should be with the downloads as well once you purchase the action. And then you would go into edit, presets and then preset manager and then you could also load the brushes and the patterns. And that is basically it, your action is installed. Now you just have to go into file and place embedded, place the mask layer which gives this illustration or render this watercolor effect. So this mask layer is actually 3K, so it's a high resolution mask layer. Go back into your action menu and play the mask layer. And if you get a message like this, press continue and that's it. Now you are ready for the fun stuff, which is actually rendering. Now the trees should be on their own layer because they have to be clear selection. That way you would have the best result. This in my project was actually grass, but I'm showing you how it looks with water. And it's just that with a click of a button, you now have water. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the grass. I have these raised beds of grass, so I'm going to select them and click on grass and play the grass action. And then I'm going to do it again for different areas of the plan so that I can lower its opacity. You can also add things to the same layer because they work just as masks. So if you wanted to add it into the grass, you can just select that area and paint in that layer with whatever brush or color that is already in your color palette.
for my entrances and the paths leading to my building. I always like to change up my pavement and or my tiles to just give a little bit of more hierarchy and depth to the plan. So wherever your main entrance is, I would suggest adding a different treatment. And I always like to do this when I'm rendering because you can see straight away the effect. And I'm just doing this with a white color overlay and then lowering its opacity to give a different color. There's also a customizable base, so if you wanted to add a color to a surface, you can do and some style effect and you can also go back into the effects and change it to whichever color it is. You can also see on the right how it has this gradient, so you don't really get just a flat color, there's more of a depth to it. And actually that mask layer in the beginning helps to give everything a subtle variation so it doesn't look flat, which is something that I struggle with sometimes with rendering plans. But this is where the action for me really shines, which is the roof of the building. Look how insane that looks. And that's just with the press of a button. I mean, it's insane. Because you know how drop shadow in Photoshop can look unrealistic, especially for longer distances. They've added multiple drop shadow effects within the building roof layer so that you can get this nice gradient. If you double click on the drop shadow, it will open up this menu and you can see how many they've added. And if you look at the distance, it's at an increment of 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40. And that's what gives this gradient. And I think you can tiny bit see that in the plan render and I wish you couldn't. But once you add textures underneath it, like grass or pavement, you wouldn't notice that at all. Also, if you lower its opacity, if you wanted to change the direction, of the shadow it's really easy because with photoshop if you change one they all change but if you want to change the distance of the shadow to make something shorter or longer you will have to change it for each one of the drop shadows and keep in that increment of 10 which i don't think it's extremely time consuming or anything because if you compare that with just one drop shadow just from photoshop you can see which one looks more realistic then it's the street i mean how good does this look i am not even exaggerating I mean, the applications of this action is just so inspiring. And now also the fun part, which is trees. If you click control on the layer of the trees, it will select it for you. And then you just press play on the trees and there you go you've got trees now i must say they do look dark here which i think is because they're very small and it, if you had bigger trees it wouldn't look as dark but you can also lower its opacity to make it less dark This is actually a road that leads to parking, but I really wanted to show you how the sea looks like. And I mean, what is more of a sustainable intervention than turning a car park into a water feature? Like, hello, sustainability. <laughs> And I'm also going to select the path around it and just add a tempered texture. This is not a part of the action. This is some of the patterns that I've already installed on my laptop. unlink the pattern to the mask and then rasterize it. You can then rotate the pattern and fix it to the orientation that you like. And honestly, I just felt like I need more grass because what kind of a render or a plan doesn't need more grass? So I'm selecting that and then painting it again in my grass layer. If you paint with white, you get this white and green gradient, which I think looks really nice. But you can also pick one of the green colors in the grass and then paint that. And you can get a green to a darker green gradient, which is also nice.
I wanted to go back and revisit the interior effect because I think I lowered opacity too much. I'm gonna go back and make it a bit more stylized, you know? Another thing that I really love is color grading. You can also just click on color grading and play and you can see all of the effects that you can choose from from the right which are already installed by Photoshop and you can just select one of the color gradients that you like and as you can see it completely transforms the plan and gives you a different effect every time. I really like this warm color because I think it worked really nice with the greens and the blues of the plan. And I also wanted to show you that you can also select the walls and add the building roof effect to it and it will give a really nice shadow to your walls but personally I don't really like my plants to look super 3D because plants for me are just 2D drawings so I don't like it to look too 3D. I remember one of my teachers in Saudi told me that so it's stuck and engraved in my brain. And this is the final render. I mean, guys, this literally took me 20 minutes to figure out the action, to download it, to install it, to use it, to render my plan. And if I can do it, you can do it too. I mean, look at the result. It speaks for itself. I will have the action linked in the description box for you if you wanted to check it out and purchase it. Honestly, I thought this action would be priced at least $20 when they told me it's $9. I think that's actually such an affordable price for what you get. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know in the comments down below. What did you think of this action? Have you seen anything like this before? What would you like them to tackle next? I mean, I would love to see this for sections and elevation. Can you just imagine? Take care. I'll See you guys next time.